I was taking my dog for a quick walk. Um, I just wanted to talk about Rapid Visa and their customer service or lack thereof. Um, obviously, doing a spousal visa, uh, fiance visa, the K1s with the DS-160s and all that uh, is a bit of a pain. Uh, and, you know, everybody's looking for a service to make it easier, uh, have questions answered and whatnot. Um, Rapid Visa, yeah, their rates uh, seem to be somewhat decent. I haven't looked around since I started with their service to see if there's anybody cheaper. Um, definitely probably cheaper than a, um, a a lawyer doing doing that type of stuff. Um, but uh, I, I have to say that the customer service with Rapid Visa um, absolutely does suck. Uh, yeah, they will answer your emails in usually about about four hours, uh, sometimes a little bit longer. Uh, I have had to wait up to a couple of days for an answer. Um, but when there is something important, um, they do not call you. They do not um, make sure that you're aware of the situation. Uh, so if you submit your documentation uh, so that they can review it before having it submitted to the government, if there's something wrong with it, they won't call you, they won't make sure you know, um, they just put a little message in your inbox for your account and hope you see it. Uh, and if you don't, oh well, they got your money. Um, I've had several incidents with them uh, where I submitted all the proper documentation um, and that they had everything they needed but still wanted um, the exact same thing in the exact same way uh, several times. Um, I think it's just a, a way to try to get more uh, money out of you. Just had another incident, spent 20, 20 minutes, just got off the phone with them, uh, going around and around in circles with them because they weren't sending my documents to the uh, the government that I had already paid them for, already uh, paid for the uh, filing fees and everything else, all the other documentation that's uh, needed for uh, the event. Um, so, yeah, I am not too pleased with uh, Rapid Visa whatsoever. Um, and so I'm not quite sure what other services are out there. Definitely can't recommend any of them because I haven't used them. Um, but that's just my personal experience is that every time uh, it comes time for them to do their job, uh, they seem to not want to do it. Um, also, yeah, they have a United States-based uh, address in Nevada, um, but their call center is actually located outside of the States, um, which is fine. They do have um, services in other countries, but they still transfer you to other um, places outside of the country, so um, English can be a little difficult at, at times in dealing with customer service. So just keep that in mind. Um, but, uh, you know, up until these few instances where they refused to do their job that they've already been paid for, I was actually kind of quite happy with them and happy with the experience. So, yes. So, yeah, with that uh, being said, um, yeah, I can definitely not uh, recommend Rapid Visa in any way, shape, or form. Um, yeah, it's just a, just an overall bad experience for me. Um, obviously, it is a service where you're sending in documentation to, send to review to make sure that everything's right before having it sent in the government. So it's definitely nice to have somebody who is supposed to know what's going on um, review it and make sure everything's in the uh, proper order. Uh, but I just find the actual customer service is just definitely black um so yeah just take it with a, a a grain of salt if you will because this is definitely just my personal experience um there's other services um there's definitely lawyers um and by all means you can um do it yourself there's absolutely nothing that says that you can't do it by yourself um the, there are videos out there that um, do do go over the paperwork and the documentation and 
Harrison in it and uh, all all that. Um, so I mean, definitely don't have to pay for the service whatsoever. That's definitely a, a choice that you can uh, make not to do. Um, one thing to keep in mind about Rapid Service, uh, Rapid Visa, and their service is is that they actually do nothing. Um, when it comes to it, you are the one filling out all the paperwork. You're the one doing all the work. Um, and even if you submit the paperwork and you forgot to cross your T, uh, you have to send the whole thing in again. They won't cross the T for you. Um, if they have the ability to fix it there at their location, which they they do, because they have to sign it as saying that they are helping prepare the documentation. There's a special line on that um, where they're supposed to sign for that. Um, whether they do or not, obviously I don't know because I don't see them because it is them because they are the ones going in it to the government for me. Uh, that's part of the service uh, that I've paid for. Um, so, yeah, they, they won't do anything. They'll tell you what you did wrong and then let you fix it and hopefully you'll fix it right the, the first time if you have to send it in again. Um, it does take a little bit of time, especially when, you know, your significant other is obviously not with you. You're in separate countries because uh, there are certain things that, you know, they do have to sign. They do have to print it out and then they have to mail it to using mail or they can mail it directly to rapid visa um so there is a little bit of uh time loss um me and my wife i had her mail everything to me uh, so i could make photocopies uh that way we had extra uh, documentation uh for for us in case anything uh, went wrong so that was a choice i made um obviously you don't have to you can send it directly to um the gov government or directly to uh, Rapid Visa, um, that's the service you're going to use, not directly to the government, you can have it all done at once. Um, so yeah, that's, um, yeah, it's just an overall bad experience. I, it's nothing that I can say has made me feel overly whelmed with good feelings for the, uh, the company uh, whatsoever. Um, obviously I don't plan to get married again, so I never plan on using their service anyway again, but definitely couldn't recommend it to any family, friends, or any anybody out here in the world that's looking for um, some type of help. Um, I would honestly say, do it yourself, um, because there's so many videos out there. Uh, yeah, it's just, I don't find it, find it worth it. Um, I think maybe I'll try to um, print out some of the stuff that I got and it shows you how to, you know, kind of show you what uh, what you do need because they do have uh, what they call their list of stuff and whatever that maybe I can upload later or something like that for people who may or may not be interested, I don't know. Um, but yeah, just definitely not recommend it. Don't. I, I don't recommend it. Uh, yeah, not not a happy camper right now. It wasn't until um, basically I said I was going to make this video that I got some type of reaction out of them just to get them to mail all that documentation to the government, even though they already have uh, fifteen hundred dollars of my money in payment, and they are I've also supplied the money for the filing fee, which is like another four hundred some dollars. So two thousand dollars of of my money they have. And they still wouldn't do their job. Um, so yeah, that's basically what it comes down to. Is that they just uh, want the money, not not want to do the work. At least that's the impression I get. Um, so y'all have a good one, and we'll talk to you later.